welcome to another edition of Pitch Brand Talk. I have with me today Nalin Jai. He's the Chief Marketing Officer at, at Kudrij Capital. Kudrij Capital, as you can make out from the name, is the NBFC arm of Kudrij Industries Group. Kudrij Capital is dedicated to establishing a sustainable retail financial services in India and offers diverse solutions, including home loans, loans against property, and business loans. Nalin, welcome to Pitch Brand Talk. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Simran. Very, very happy to be here. Uh, Nalan, I just want to start off with uh, your late, Gojish Capital is a late entrant into this, uh, into the NBFC space. So what is the core marketing proposition that you use at Gojish Capital? So, uh, you know, yeah, we, are, we we started about three and a half, four years back, uh, you know, our operations, but, you know, we've been in, in existence for almost about five years uh, honestly, Simran, when we started, we started with the HFC. Not sure whether you know uh, your viewers or you would know that. So, Godrej Capital is a combination of a NBFC and a HFC license. So, and when we started, we obviously had a HFC license, and then we got you know we all the group group already had a NBFC license, and we rechristened and named it to Godrej uh, Finance Limited. Now, these are two companies which are held under Godrej Capital, our, our main parent brand uh, that we put out uh, in the market. Uh, the philosophy in both. When we started, uh, you know, HFC, which is more home loans related, and then the NBFCs has been to solve for flexibility, uh, you know, in in the loan ecosystem. Anybody today, you know, wants to take a loan, uh, you know, the first thing that comes to everybody's mind uh, is that I have a fixed EMI to pay. I, I don't know how I'm going to pay. This is the amount. And, and that's that became the core proposition from day one for us. For the home loan customers first, and then now the MSME, which is our prime focus, uh, you know, for for the you know foreseeable, uh, you know, future that we are looking at. Uh, so we wanted to solve for flexibility in the way we lend, flexibility in the way that the customers can repay us. So that's been our core proposition or or the ethos of anything that we do here, whether it is a proposition, product, policy, innovation, everything revolves around the word flexibility for us. Uh, but you know, you have you. You are drawing on the legacy of the Godrej Group, which by itself, the name Godrej in India also implies trust. So how have you been able to leverage your group's legacy when you're building the brand for Godrej Capital? I think the, the brand played, if not the, but the, is one of the most important parts in, in, in the growth that we've had, uh, foreseen. Uh, the acceptability of us, uh, whether you look at it, our distribution partners, uh, the markets, the ecosystem, the customers is is very very high. You know, if if I had started a company called Nalin Jain and Company and wanted to lend loans, it's very tough for me to you know put it out in the market that comes in. A general acceptability when a customer gets to know, okay, it is from Godrej because of our legacy, because of our 127 years of trust, is you know that that thing crosses. Nobody is going to ask us a question. Uh, oh, you know, who are you uh, kind? So it's Godrej. Is it Godrej? Yes, it is Godrej. And then we move on discussing product pro uh, policy and, and whatever the customer desires. So I think it plays a very, very important role. Uh, we leverage it on a daily basis. It's it's a part of our branding. Our company is called Godrej Capital. Uh, we proudly carry uh, visiting cards and, and uh, you know, any marketing communication that we put it out, uh, you know, it's there. I, I, I still remember when we had launched... Uh, Godrej Capital in one of the first campaigns that we did with with a uh, you know uh, stand-up comedian Rahul Subramaniam and we ensured that we added a line uh, in it called you know Godrej ka hai <laughs> you know and, and yeah. that's 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 how we leverage it wherever we can put it we, we we try and put it up and and draw the attention to to the legacy that the Godrej group has and the customers have in mind you know I'm sure all of us have Godrej products at home. Now, you know, you just spoke about a campaign and I was just looking at the same campaigns which are uh, you know, targeted at empowering MSCs, MSME, sorry. So I just want to know what are your insights that you leverage when you are building your communication? So various, uh, you know, uh, some, uh, things have moved. So I'll, I'll speak about the latest campaign that we have, uh, you know, which is Hum Samajhte Hai Business. Now that, uh, you know, answers your previous question and this in parts the insight that we want uh, we we got from the customers were that they want a trusted partner uh, and they want somebody who knows business both of them existed with us we've been you know a self-employed group for 127 years legacy being there a completely trust driven 
a brand you know today everybody whether it's a safe or a lock or a elmira or anything else the, the brand really stands for trust as a as a big uh, you know value uh, that comes around it and and that's what was our insights that people are looking for this we are there and that's how the uh, the 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 line came about that hum samajhte hain business and and that's how the leveraging has happened for the godrej group for the last 127 years and that's and the insight was that they wanted a trusted partner so we just you know combine these two things together and move forward a uh, couple of other uh, you know uh, the last campaign that we had is so is loan mein load nahi also had the similar thing the customers wanted flexibility uh, and that was our ethos and the uh, you know uh, everything that we did behind innovation when when we realized that they need flexibility in repayment more than anything else you know something was internal to us how we give loans uh, how they repay is more important so we came out with uh, you know design your emi interest only payments yeah. for self employed we came out with uh, you know various products where you can take a emi holiday you can decide not to pay for you know uh, one month and pay which is called emi holiday don't pay for one month and pay the next month during the festive season you uh, you need more money right to to stock up and stuff and then you have extra cash flows after the festive season so we came out with the products saying pay only interest at that time don't need to pay the principal at these uh, these interval we have come out with a, a product which is uh, flexible repayment you can uh, repay to us and there's no interest charge on it when you need it you can withdraw it back again and then repay to us you know again when when you have money so everything is around these uh, you know uh, products and that's why we call it is loan mein load nahi everybody thought that the uh loan is uh, a load right and and that's how the campaign was uh, as well so these these are the couple of insights that we worked on and and that's where we are uh you've also launched the nirman platform so if you could just speak a little bit more about nirman platform and how you're using it to drive your digital proposition so nirman uh, you know another uh, while we keep doing a lot of uh, research on on our customer base both primary and secondary and we realized was that there is a general uh, tendency on the msme side which which is our focus uh no area intention is there opportunity is a problem while we can fulfill the gap of credit from an nbfc point of view however if the person is not growing you know everybody is looking at you know what's your cash flow how much order book you have and then you know giving that person a little bit more loan which is fair but a smaller msm uh, sme or msme if they want to grow they also need a bit of attention in terms of how they can get more opportunities whether it is training whether it is you know better products better companies consulting with them better guidance in compliance and tax laws and stuff so there is a bit of a missing uh, piece is what we realize is there and that's why we created a platform called nirman it's just a ecosystem based platform where and it's a part of our digital footprint expansion where we are you know when we expand any digital footprint platform plays a very important role so it's a stand alone platform called godrej nirman now in this platform we tie up with lots of partners who can provide any kind of service to these msmes obviously we we try and uh, you know get a better deal because as godrej as large company we can get better deals from these companies and we put them onto our platform and we allow and obviously we market it as nirman uh the msmes are uh, you know free to come there choose whatever service they uh, want directly with these uh, partners and and we developed a ecosystem where the partner uh, or the msmes will grow when the msmes grow they will become more credit worthiness and that's how the entire thing is working today so that's that's what nirman is i also would like to know from you is uh, you know customer experience is really really important particularly nowadays So you know you've got the uh, NBFC financial side, and uh, so how do you, which can be complicated, which can be really complicated for people to understand. So how do you ensure a seamless customer experience? Uh, that's a tough one. I think that's uh, uh, you know what uh, I think communication is the key. You know while while CX is mm-hmm. one part, which is how you experience the brand, which is you know how people talk, how our brand language is. colors people offices everything that with godrej i think 50% work is done but when it comes to really taking rubber hitting the road and taking the transaction through it's about communication there we've taken a stance of uh, you know 
over communicate and transparency and now you know when i say over communicate and transparency i i really don't just mean it by words but you know in 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 real spirit you know we we work on it uh we communicate on all channels so email sms whatsapp so that you don't miss anything we have multilingual uh, you know uh, people available to to answer to any queries that the customers may have to the point that we are so transparent simran that uh, you know i'm not sure whether you have a home loan uh, you know yourself there but we upload everything that the customer has signed with us on our portal and it's readily available for the customers to directly self service it and download it we you know while assisted services there most of the companies that we uh, deal with you need to call them then they take a service request and send the documents <laughs> you know after x amount of time they will do something for us including for our secured business Uh, the property papers are available on the website so if you have a uh, loan with us and you have mortgaged your property with us a scanned copy of that property paper is available on your uh, login portal so that's the kind of transparency you know we provide and and that's one of the uh, ethos that we go with so over communicate and transparent so we we communicate at every stage what's happening what's not happening where are we on it all channels even if it's an extra communication we are happy to listen from the customer don't tell me so much of uh, uh, communication but we continuously com- uh, communicate and we are extremely transparent in every dealing every document that they sign is is scanned and kept on the uh, portal now if you could also give me an understanding of your physical uh, footprint as well as digital because now with the digital it uh, helps you go to a much larger footprint so if you could just tell me what is your current footprint like and plans on that front So uh we are in uh, physically present in 41 cities you know and uh, as of right now and we we operate out of 53 offices some of the larger cities have multiple offices uh, of course and and uh, you know using the digital ecosystem uh, predominantly uh, you know it works very very nice for the unsecured sme loans that we work for we cover about 180 markets in and around those uh, cities so that's our digital of uh, you know our digital and physical footprint uh, in terms of coverage as as of right now uh plans uh, like you know we uh, like we discussed earlier that the targets are are stiff and we want to you know really uh, you know get on with it i think in the near term we are looking at uh, expanding to about 100 physical cities the 41 goes to 100 in maybe a couple of years uh, you know, hopefully earlier than uh, that and then obviously you know try and cover the same 180 number becomes about 500 uh, you know uh, locations so, so that's our you know our 18 months kind of a plan uh you know i also want to get a sense from you because you've been in the home loan space for a while now but you recently also ventured into the affordable home loan space so what are your plans on that front and the second question is when you're talking about affordability will this also be the affordable home space is it targeted more towards the tier 2 and tier 3 cities or you're also looking at metros and uh, the tier 1 cities on this front so uh, you know so just to correct you there we not venture into affordable right now we are talking about it for sure we yeah. have plans we are uh, seeking to move into it uh, okay. but uh, as of right now we don't have an affordable uh, business uh, set up okay. so that's that's one part second uh, affordable housing uh, as a industry it's, is is everywhere it's it's mm-hmm. basically defined as uh, houses which are uh, lesser than you know somewhere somewhere is defined as 30 lakhs somewhere is defined as 50 lakhs in that range uh, people who are bu- uh, buying the houses is called the affordable housing segment sure. uh, really uh, predominantly it exists in tier 2 market but it doesn't uh, mean it doesn't exist in tier 1 market for example in bombay if you go a little bit on the outskirts there is a lot of affordable housing available and we will be in yeah. both the uh, areas in in metros sure. metros tier 1 tier 2 you know tier 3 tier 4 all the cities the the 500 i mentioned wherever we can expand we will head there as a plan but currently we don't have an affordable we have a plan to get into affordable business that's that's what i think. what would be the drivers looking ahead for you growth drivers uh i think uh, just uh, so internally we are looking at expanding geo so we want to go deep geo you know everybody has been around uh, we, mm-hmm. we we've covered mostly all the metros how and which uh, smaller cities we can go uh, the the msme growth is is a big driver for us externally because as the msmes grow that's our focus segment we will continue uh, to 
to innovate on flexibility on products to support this growth uh, you know and and uh, take it for uh, and and see how we can innovatively lend to the msmes and and just not how do we figure out that how how much credit worthy they are is there a way if we can help them in their growth so that they become more credit worthy and you know drive that uh, you know uh, piece uh, for us so these are the three four things that will drive us for, from the growth perspective okay so uh, you know uh, if you can also give me a sense of your current uh, asset value and how is it split between home loan and msme and looking ahead if the what is the target like you've mentioned it's a very stiff target what is the target on this so uh, as we speak our aum stands at about approximately about 12000 crores uh, you know and out of which uh, about 5000 crores is in home loans uh, and about 7000 in Seven. the 7000 is in the msme uh, mm -hmm. segment which is uh, you know uh, split between loan against property and unsecured business loans these are the three products uh, and home loans of course these are the products that we do so that's the uh, overall lay of the land we are looking at uh, you know reaching about 18 uh, 18 to 19000 crores for this financial year end of uh, outstanding uh, aum and but is there any particular region which you see is your target markets and what i mean is is south the major contributor or west north how are you seeing this any particular market is the lead market for you so i think currently it's fairly well distributed for us we are not seeing uh, you know any uh, you know I, I would say yeah all of them are in the range of that 30% so i'm not seeing any any variability so it's well distributed it's well distributed for now and uh, hopefully we'll be you know uh, wanting to keep it that way and uh, don't see any any trends right now pushing us into one particular geographical split but the, yeah it will move from predominantly tier 1 to tier 2 tier 3 as we expand that's that's what we expect uh, but not from east west south perspective the so go deep is what the plan is looking yes. ahead yes yes uh, finally i uh, what more can we expect from godrich capital new segments new products what can we expect looking ahead from that? so uh, yes uh, uh, you know multiple product lines you know we we today are into uh, home loans loan against property business loans uh, uh, are the three segment three large things we are doing we are now just starting uh, to go a little bit more deeper with our loan against property what we call udyog lap uh, you know udyog loan against property slightly smaller ticket than the metro requirement of higher ticket loans we are going to smaller smaller there uh, and then we continue you know two parts to it one we will open multiple product lines and any other secured business or unsecured business that we, we can get into we will try and get into from a uh, from the same geography perspective obviously because we have presence and we'll follow that innovate on flexibility is what you should watch out uh, you know watch us out for whatever we can innovate on uh, is what we will look forward to like you know one recent innovation mm -hmm. i said is is that flexibility to uh, repay us when you have the money we will not charge you interest take the money oh. back when you need it and uh, and we'll start charging you and we charge you daily interest so from an nbfc it's 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 one of the first ones and then obviously you know we will take it forward from there Nelly, thank you so much for your time it was lovely chatting with you my takeaway innovation and flexibility is what i take away from our chat on as far as gojish capital is concerned thank you so much for your time thank you simran thanks for having me Oh,